called by Officer's Tech Planer Boards. We have a new line of planer boards out there. We've got some light light planer boards, heavier copper lights, and some super heavy boards that will pull even a bank wire dipsy. First off, I'm going to show you how to use the Twig TX12 planer board. Excellent planer board for light line as in small crank bank such as a Jordan Rapala's. First off, when you're setting your planer board, you want to make sure you have a stop. A stop is so the planer board doesn't slide all the way down your lure, go all the way to the crankbait, and knock your fish off. So we have to have some type of stop. We use a barrel swivel with a bead in front of it. So if you want to pull the pin, put it on the line. This will keep that planer board so you don't lose it unless your line breaks. Then bring the line up underneath the plane or the clip, back through the clip. Mm -hmm. And that, that's how you properly rig a trip planer board. Just set it back in the water and let it go off to the side. Let's take it right off to about a 30 degree angle from your boat. Okay, now we're going to tell you how to rig this so it will not release. If it's real rough out there, you get a lot of wave action bobbing up and down, and your planer board keeps tripping, what you can do is either one, and a tightened screw tensioner on the top of the clip. You can tighten that down or you can wrap it. Put the line on your pin, come up through your clip like this, wrap it around two or three times, open the clip and slide it in. That will not trip. There's no way that'll slip or trip. 